Hello and welcome to MMA Crips Fighting Talk. On today's show, we'll carry on season one of the MMA Crip Quiz Fan vs. Fighter. The Fan vs. Fighter season will be the best of five. So the first team to reach three victories will be declared the season one champions. The score so far is 1-1 between the fans and fighters as Linton Vassell defeated Ray Thompson in bout one and Derek Love defeated Bubba McDaniel in bout two. Okay, representing the fans today will be Mr. Greg Marshall. Greg has been a mixed martial arts fan since 2005. Greg is also a hardcore Rangers fan. With that, welcome to the show, Greg. All right, guys. Okay, representing the fighters, we have Mr. Scott Askham. Scott has an undefeated pro record of 11 wins and 0 losses. Scott is also the current reigning Bama middleweight champion. With that, welcome to the show, Scott. Hi, guys. Okay, the rules are as follows for today's quiz. I'll ask both players the same five questions with three possible answers. The player with the most points at the end of five questions will be declared the winner. In the event of a tie, there will be a tiebreaker question. The tiebreaker question will not have a choice of three possible answers. The player to give it the nearest digit to the correct answer will be declared the winner. Okay, Greg, is there anything you want to say to Scott before we get started? Uh, just good luck and do your do your best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scott, is there anything you want to say to Greg Marshall before we get started? No, it's good luck. It's gone, mate. <laughs> okay, question one. <laughs> Melvin Manoff recently had his long-awaited rematch with Evangelista Santos. Manoff won the fight by a TKO punches. How long did it take Manoff to finish off Evangelista Santos? Was it A, 42 seconds, B, 46 seconds, or C, 54 seconds? Okay, let's start with you first, Scott. I'll go with A. Go with A, 42 seconds. Greg, what are you going with? What was B? B was 46 seconds. I'll go with B. B, 46 seconds. Okay, the correct answer is indeed B. So that's one point to Greg and zero points to Scott after question one. Good start there, Greg. I like that. I could swear I was right on that one as well. That's how confident I was. Confident I, was right. <laughs> I, I know we're going to rubbish at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's um, a bit of a toughie, unless you know your ring girls. Now, I had to throw a couple of um, random questions in here because I was speaking to Greg last night and he was telling me he was scouting out all sorts of things in recent news. So I had to throw a few <laughs> old questions in there so you can thank Greg for that. Yeah. Now, scouting's not cheating, but he had all the MMA books out and checking all the news, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, question two. Who is Jessica Sutton a ring girl for? Is it A, World Series of Fighting? B, KSW or C, Made for the cage. Let's go with you first, Scott. A. Scott's going with A, World Series of Fighting. What are you going with, Greg? Yeah, I think it's A as well. Okay, the correct answer is indeed A. So that's a point for Scott. (laughs) So a point for Scott and a point for Greg after question two. So the scores are 2-1 to Greg. Okay, have you been watching uh, The Ultimate Fighter Season 19, both of you? Uh, yep. <laughs> I've, I've watched one episode just now with my dad. Oh, <laughs> no, Scott. Anymore. Oh, no. And Greg's two and up as well. Name apart from Pendred and Fields, there's only two names right now. I don't think you're the only one there. <laughs> Everyone from the UK only knows Fields and Pendred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, question three. On episode three of the Ultimate Fighter 19, which fighter was preaching to the rest of the house? Was it A, Tim Williams, B, Todd Monaghan, or C, Matt Van Boren? Let's go with you first, Greg. That was B, Monaghan, I think. B, Monaghan? Scott? Uh, I'd be daft not to agree with the person who, who, who watches this. <laughs> <laughs> that was a smart move, Scott. That was a very smart move. <laughs> Look, I don't watch it. I'll go with him. He watches it. The correct answer is indeed B. Whoa, that's some tactics there, Scott. Tactical play. Damn. That kept, you in the, that, that kept you in the quiz there, Scott. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> Looks like, oh, Greg's scouting just backfired on him there. <laughs> 
he should have he should have acted uh, a bit dumb there. Should have like, oh, I'm not sure about this. I'm gonna guess B. <laughs> well, I've got an old school question for you next. Very old school. Do you guys know Mark the Wizard Weir? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Question four. Who did Mark the Wizard Weir KO in ten seconds at UFC 38? Was it A. James Zickich, B. Jorge Rivera, or C. Eugene Jackson? Let's go with you first, Scott. Uh, I've got a feeling it's A, but I'm really not sure. Uh, yeah, I'll go A. A, James Zickich, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'll go A. Scott's going with A. What are you going with, Greg? I've got no idea, to be honest, but I'll, to keep it exciting, I'll go C. C, Eugene Jackson. The correct answer is indeed C. Eugene. Oh, damn. damn. That's it, game over, is it? Yeah, that's game over, 4-2. <laughs> I'll take let's, that. Let's see if um, Scottish Greg can, you know, make himself look even better on the fifth and final question. Yeah, there's a bit of cheating going off here. Isn't there? Have, you, have you already told him answers? <laughs> I, actually Google, changed, that... I changed all the yeah, answers Google. because he was cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, question five is as follows. Which referee had to rear naked choke an opponent due to him not stopping attacking his opponent when the fight was stopped? Was it A, Mark Goddard, B, Grant Waterman, or C, Leon Roberts? Let's go with you first, Greg. That was uh, Leon Roberts. C, Leon Roberts. What are you going with there, Scott? Yeah, I know that one. That was Leon Roberts, yeah. Everybody's seen that. Yeah, correct answer is C, Leon Roberts. Cheers, Greg. That's the new record on the quiz. Uh, five out of five, correct. Well, you didn't stand a chance today, Scott. Four on you and one no was a chance, big yeah. guess. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I'm not going to say you cheated, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well, because I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he have got the Ringo one, right? It's what, it's what fish you going on, isn't it? <laughs> well, there's a, there's a Ringo competition going on the crypt at some point, so, well, that was courtesy of me, so that's probably the reason. Damn. That was yeah. impressive. I had a vague knowledge of that one, right enough. <laughs> so the scores now in the season is 2-1 to the fans. Damn, Linta Vassell got things off to a good start for their fighters, and there the fans have just took the lead. So in the next quiz, if the fans are victorious, then they win the season. Good to hear. <laughs> well, Scott, thank you for joining me today. Is there anything you want to say to your fans, anything you would like to promote, your upcoming fight or anything? Yes, yeah, so make sure you all tune in for um, Bama's first fight night um, and watch main event. It's going to be a cracking fight. And thanks for everybody for the support. Continue support. It's been awesome. Cheers. Greg, thank you for joining me today and congratulations on the win. Cheers. Nice one. <laughs> From MMA Crips Fighting Talk, thank you for watching.